All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Hyun Kyu Lim and Pascal Kraus. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills at every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket, while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range. More often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. This guy has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close enough for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Pascal Panzer Rose! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, he owns the ace, Lear! And in the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Uh, you ready? You ready? And we are underway. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Kraus. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Tagged him. A couple of chins here being tested early. Everything Lim throws with fight-ending intentions. Takedown attempt there. Wow, that was a quick takedown. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Very nice sweep lines up at his opponent's guard. He takes the back. Oh, full mount. To the head there by Kraus. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Hammer fist blocks. He moves to full guard here. Lim gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just over two minutes now to go. Good defense there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. 
Nice punch there by Lim. Beautiful knee. Effective use of the jab there by Lim. Rouse gets the single leg takedown. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's got full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's moved back into side control. Well, he's in north-south now. Let's see if he can hold it. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Thirty seconds to go. Side control again. And back to the mount. Lim gets caught with that punch. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He lands an elbow here. That horn sounds good. Well, we have reached the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. round. Barely. He's just squeaking by with that wrestling, but he's not doing anything with it. We have to stuff those takedowns. Angle up. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Second round underway. One, two. Krause's shot is blocked. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Lin. Going for the single leg now. Oh, tagged him. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is blocked. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Pretty good straight punch there by Lim. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he's going to try to take the back. Rouse gets caught with that punch. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Inside control once again. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Lip. That knee might have landed there. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Tying him up here in the clinch. Kraus has got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do. It. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Kraus. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs... Oh, and this fight's is. over. This fight's over. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally... One more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. 
near perfect execution tonight. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, the young the ace So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.